Scientists have long suspected fish contaminated with certain chemicals may pose health risks to people who frequently consume them. Over time, these compounds, things like pesticides and heavy metals, build up in the tissue of a living organism, a process known as bioaccumulation. West Virginia's approach is to communicate information gained through testing and evaluation to allow anglers to make informed decisions about eating wild-caught fish from the state's waters. The DEP works with the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources and the Department of Health and Human Resources to collect and analyze fish. We basically go out, we have a five-year cycle uh, statewide of water bodies consisting of rivers, lakes, larger streams, uh, anywhere people basically would fish. Um, so each year we go to a certain number of those sites and collect fish. Primarily we're looking at harvestable sport fish, game fish. Uh, so you think of bass, catfish, walleye, things of that nature, striped bass. Crews use different techniques to catch the fish depending on the location. For example, here below Sandstone Falls on the New River this past fall, they're electrofishing. Tissue from the fish is sent to a lab for analysis. They're looking for signs of mercury, PCBs, selenium, and other contaminants. Researchers collect several examples of each species to be analyzed. Different sizes and weights of each species are combined into a single consolidated sample. Based on those results, advisories are issued. So if there's a certain level of contaminant, then it's advised you don't eat that species of fish at all. Uh, we do have a few of those, unfortunately. But, and then others you have, uh, you can eat one meal a month, one meal every two months, uh, things of that nature. So, and, and that's all derived from the information that we collect from our tissue samples that's then uh, assessed and evaluated compared to a table of what levels of certain contaminants uh, you should be concerned about consuming or getting too much into your body. Uh, and the primary objective, obviously, is safety of the public. You can find West Virginia's current fish consumption advisories by visiting the DNR's website, wvdnr.gov. You'll find the information located in the Fishing Regulations section. You can also visit wvdhhr.org fish. That will take you to the Department of Health and Human Resources interactive map where you can click on a location and get the current advisories for that specific body of water. For Environment Matters, I'm Mike Huff. Thanks for watching.